Hey guys, this is Dan with the WebROM, and today we are going to be showing you how to set up OBS's virtual camera and use that in any meeting software with your WebROM backdrop or green screen. The whole process should take about four minutes altogether. Let's get into it. Let's start off by navigating to OBS's website and downloading the latest version. If you have OBS downloaded already, you can just ensure that it is updated. Once you've finished installing OBS, let's open up the program. Next, let's add your camera. Navigate to the scenes box at the bottom left, right click, select add, and name the scene whatever you'd like. Next, we're going to be moving to the sources box located to the right of the scenes box. You're going to right click in the sources box, hover over add, and then select video capture device. Name the source whatever you'd like and select OK. The video capture device settings window will pop up, and in the device section, click into the drop down menu and select the webcam or camera you'd like to use. Underneath that, Move to the resolution slash FPS type and click into the drop down. Select custom. Navigate to the resolution section and click the drop down. Select the resolution you'd like to use. We recommend 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 ratio for your video. We also recommend using resolutions that provide HD or higher. This would include 1280 by 720, 1920 by 1080, or 1280 by 960. Once finished, select OK. Let's set the preview window size to mimic the camera resolution we just picked. Let's navigate and click on the settings box. On the settings window, select video. And for the base canvas resolution, choose the resolution that you just selected for your camera. For the output scaled resolution, again, choose the resolution that you just picked for your camera. Click apply and then click OK. Finally, we're going to make sure that you're cropped and zoomed correctly so that you are completely covered by the web round and no corners are showing. Navigate to the Sources box and right-click on your webcam or camera source. Select Filters. On the left sidebar, navigate to the Effect Filters box, right-click, and select Crop Pad. Here, you'll be able to add a crop or pad in pixels to your camera. You'll want to make sure that all corners are gone and that you're able to still move around as you need. Once you've adjusted it to your preferred amount, select Close. You'll want to make sure that the preview window is filled with the full camera view. If you notice some black boxes or black lines on the sides, feel free to zoom in the camera to your liking. To zoom in, ensure the camera source is unlocked, click on it, and a red outline will appear around the camera source in the preview window. In any of the corners, take your cursor, click down on the corner and drag it in or out as needed. You are now done with preparing your video for the meeting software. Next up, we are going to have you select the meeting software that you plan to use for further instructions. Click on the left video if you're using Zoom, or click on the right video if you're using any meeting software without virtual backgrounds. 